As I look into the void of white, I wonder... Can my horse even see? Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we ended off a rather strange episode where most of the episode was off-screen stuff. Things that I never intended to be shown. Because we have 406 Korok Seeds, and when I collect 52 of those off-screen, some interesting things are bound to happen. This time, we're continuing our exploration of Hebra Mount- Hebra? The Hebra Mountains. Taking a rather odd updraft, leaving Agro behind. We also ended off on a test of strength, which was pretty cool. I always enjoy tests of strength. Where are we? I always enjoy tests of strength because they, well, they test my strength, which is very formidable, but also because they're a chance to show off my skill, which is immense, and you can tell that this is the same recording session because I'm just as cocky. Oh, hello. I'm just as cocky in this one as I was at the end of last episode. I mean, I, have, I think I have some reason to, to feel that way, considering major tests of strength really destroyed me earlier on in the Let's Play. I remember there's an episode, what is it, episode 19? I'm not sure. Around then, uh, I made an episode called Stat Checked, and I was thoroughly had my, my rear end handed to me at the hands of a Guardian Scout 3? Guardian Scout 2? And I, I wondered, you know, is the game actually not as open-ended as I thought? But no, it was. I was just, well... Not that I was bad, it was just that my weapons were bad, and I was also bad. Okay, where are we Where are we even going? Oh, we don't get any... I'm not getting an indication of a shrine here. So we're just kind of climbing... We've seen a shrine headed and head in and out of our sensor, and I'm still not sure entirely where it is. Oh, hello. Topaz? Oh, yeah, there it is. Speaking of which... Okay, we, we have to be right on top of it. Do you see this? Oh yeah, what was I saying before I got rudely un interrupted? Probably by myself. Oh yeah, Pests of Strength. I, I love being able to show off my skill because I was I was stat checked earlier in the LP and I feel like we're at a point where I am pretty good at Breath of the Wild. I mean, maybe you guys... Oh, that's, the, that's what that sound was. Maybe you guys would disagree. Uh, please, and if you want to disagree with me, type in the comments. I would love to, I would love to know there are still heights for me to ascend to. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let, let's look at our surroundings first before rushing off to a Korok Seed. I don't see any shrines. I see a weird twisty thing over there. It looks like a tree. I I, I guess we could do this Korok Seed. We, we, should, our per yeah. we should probably head... Oh, it's down there. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, it's already done. Whoa. Okay, they really want us to go full steam ahead on this one. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, wow. Right at the buzzer. Right at the buzzer. We got it. I thought that was that was done for. But I, I think I'm pretty good at the game. If I can finish my thought. Now, if you want to know who <laughs> is still working her way up, it's my... My girlfriend, yes, that's right, you heard it first here. The, the, the nerd pal ha actually found someone who enjoys his nerdism. But uh, she's been playing through Ocarina of Time recently. And it, she's playing through Ocarina of Time for the very first time. And so... And also, she hasn't played any Zelda games before. So there are a lot of things that, that she's learning for the first time. Like how, you know, dungeons work. How there are bosses in them. And and how to shield, and all these new things. She's adjusting pretty well, but it doesn't... It doesn't help when I take a couple of opportunities. I cannot believe that guy took two hits. Die. I guess they just burst into ice. When I take opportunities to, uh... Can you... Thank you. To test her knowledge... Uh, she was, she had just finished, or she had just met, I don't think it is spoiler, she just met Princess Zelda in, in, um, Ocarina of Time, and so she left the, the area and gone to Kakariko Village, and she saw a chicken, and I was like, or a cucko, and I thought, 
you know, she probably doesn't know this. So I said, well, uh, grab that cuckoo. I was just testing the waters a little bit. And run up a, a cliff and jump off of it. And you can glide. And she's like, oh, man, that's really cool. I said, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> hit the chicken. And she's like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, you heard me. Hit, hit the chicken. So she hits the chicken once. She's like, it, it doesn't do anything. So I, I told her, no, 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 just keep hitting it. It's, it's fine. You can chase down the chicken and kill the chicken. It'll, it'll do something really great. And so she does that, only to find out that, uh, well, as you guys could probably tell where, from where this story is heading, uh, the chickens don't like being killed, and they will summon their friends, and they will perform a gang attack. If that G GTA is the origin of gang attacks, you are wrong. And so she started dying <laughs> all the while while screaming at me because I, I was getting her killed by poultry, and... It was a it was a foul move to be sure, but it was it was also a paltry m maneuver. Okay, what am I doing? I'm trying to find a a shrine that just really isn't going anywhere for me. What is that? You see that? What I've been suspecting is going to be the entrance to this shrine is like a straight drop down into the mountain. And that looks like it could be it. It also would line up because it would make this a volcano of sorts. A, an ex extinct volcano. So let's... It's kind of a long shot. But that's most of what we have. Otherwise, I guess I'll just move on and cut my losses. Know that there is a shrine around here. But it's not... It's very difficult to find. And of course, there's a Korok seed up here, which I'll grab. Got it. Oh, I had to... Uh, I shot for when it would move close to me, since it's not technically moving. It's just getting... Cl it's making its hitbox bigger, so... So I don't know where this shrine is. I really don't know. Uh, you tell me in the comments, I guess. Otherwise, let's... Let's do something productive with the episode, since you can see I've gone everywhere here. Uh, let's do something productive and... Try to find a shrine, I guess... I guess down here? Yeah, let's... You know what, let's make this exciting. Let's shield surf. Need to be facing... This way. Let's shield surf down the mountain and just see where we end up. Because no matter where we end up, there probably is going to be a shrine near us. A different thing. Oh, shrine nearby. Oh, I think I know where this one is, too. I think this, uh, this is where I... I sledded. And it's down there. Okay, well, we get to do some... Shield surfing. I'm always a fan of that. Yeah. Get some air time. Get um, some fire arrows ready. Shoot him. Woo! Bank around, go right through the fire. Yeah! Let's go down this way. Don't run into the tree. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Tony Hawk, and I don't think Tony Hawk did this, but I'm somebody, somebody famous. Okay, let's go down here this way. We're headed to, yeah, we're headed towards where, wait, but we've been there, eh, whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll find out, we'll, we'll see what there is. Otherwise, I know that where there is a shrine that we didn't get, it was almost right next to us when we did all the shield surfing, so if this doesn't take us towards a shrine, I know where we can get to one. Okay, almost to the bottom. It was a real fun ride, but we have run out of distance. Okay, what is over here? An updraft? Giant updraft? Uh, Stir Sternida? Secret hot spring? So it'll it'll heal us, and then is there a shrine? That's really what I'm. It's not really that secret. Okay, there's a shrine over here. I, I saw it when we went and did uh, Selmy's shield surfing thing. I ignored it for some reason. I don't remember if I ignored it in the episode or if, or, or if I just only saw it when we got the when I went back uh, when I went and backtracked and got the Korok seed that was located there. But I do know that there is a shrine there, so we can we can go get that. Ugh. It's quite a climb, and I can't really take my horse throughout here because. 
It's just, there's so much climbing involved. This is just one giant mountain. It's one mountain after another, also. Easy, Korok! Yoi! Don't even have to stray from my path. Though I, I will be interrupted by another Korok, but don't even have to stray. Okay, there's a rhino there, and I guess we're not even... Uh, can I summon my horse? Yeah, I can. Okay, this is a pretty straight stretch. It's uphill, and I'd rather let my let aggro do all the work of the uphill stuff rather than than me. I just have to remember that sometimes I need to hit the brakes. Okay, that was short lived, and it should be right around this rock. Maybe there it is. Man, this thing's just crammed in the corner, isn't it? Shada Na Shrine. Red giveaway. This would have been a very good shrine for me to have gotten earlier. Oh, huh. Because it's it's right at the top of the mountain. Everything is, almost everything is downhill from there. And I, I really should have gotten it earlier. So this is a different take on a shrine we've already seen. Which was the, I don't remember what it was called, but I guess this is the theme for Hebra? Huh. Okay, well, let's let's look at this. Let's play this one out. Um, hmm. So this is kind of weird. Here, let's jump over there because I see a chest that we should be gr grabbing. There it is. So we're. I, I get the concept of this one. I'm just not sure. Great frost blade. That's pretty nice. Here's what I, I think they want us to do. And I have a different method of doing it, but this is what they want us to do. They want us to move this, move this chest, all the way over here, and then set it down. If I can maneuver it, there. So that when the ball comes over here, it stops. That's what they want us to do, because if this, then we can properly time uh, the moving platform. We could have done this as well with stasis. In fact, stasis is a, a cooler way of doing it. But I'm going to do what they intended. To do that, it's not in range. But raise it. Get on our little platform. And nothing happened. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I see what happened. Okay. The, the metal block actually blocked the wind, so... We need to we need to be mindful of that. So put that there. Grab the ball and reset. Yet yeah, uh, the easiest way we could have possibly done this is I'll I'll actually show you in a moment. Okay, get ready to raise this. Raise. Get on our platform. Don't crush me, block. Wait, what? That's odd. Oh, we're, are we supposed to use... I think we're supposed to use the block to stop the ball, period. Still, though, my solution does apply. We just place it here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see that? What on earth? What? Do you see? Part of the wall moves. Whoa. Game changer, what? That is what? Okay, so we're supposed to set the block on that. And then just time it well. Oh, well that's more clever than I gave them credit for. But still, my, my solution is just way easier and we're going to be using that. Just gonna throw this thing up here. Stasis it. And run! Get up there! Come on! Ugh. Okay, we're there. We're actually there early. Well, cool! We we did it, but at least I discovered something neat about the shrine. That's really sweet. You can interact with the wall. Huh. Okay, well, that is done. We probably could have gotten out of bounds. 
Yeah, we could have gotten out of bounds if we had brought the block up here, but I don't think there's a reward for doing so. I mean, I can kind of look over here, but I don't think... Yeah, there's there's no reward for doing that. So, try and conquer, I guess. <laughs> Neat. Awesome. We did it. Yeah, that one was a bit weird. We've never seen... I don't think we've ever seen a block that wasn't explicitly metal being able to be interacted like that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so... Certainly there are more shrines. We only have, like, 109, I think? So, where have we not gone? Uh, we haven't gone to the Cold Snap Hollow, and I... That thing looks cool, so we face south... And a little bit to the right, a little bit to the... What would that be? East? No, that'd be west. And then... We go down to the hollow? I'm still kind of hoping that this road eventually leads us to the weird shrine on the back side of the mountain, but I I won't hold my breath. This thing's weird, though. It's like a cave. Weird cave system. It's more giant mushrooms and probably an enemy that I'm about to run away from on the other side of this ice block. Free... Uh, Thaw. Actually, no, this is an enemy. I can see it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk away from all of you. I don't want what you're selling, and what you're selling is death. Okay, well, there's a... a talus over here. It's not a shrine, but... I'm gonna run out of ice arrows while I do this. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, that's the shape of talus I can get behind. You, sir. Boosh. Yeah, you, you're you frosty. Oh, no, you got me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you now. Uh, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And you're dead. There we go. <laughs> it's frozen for my troubles, but it's fine. This thing's dead. Okay, so what is, what are we... Is there anything else here? Was this guarding anything? Or is this just a useless do-nothing area? I think this is a useless do-nothing area. Unless there's something... Unless the rabbit hole goes deeper, which... It doesn't seem to. Okay. Well. I guess that's it then. Uh, where else can we go? We can go down here. This thing looks cool. It looks like a, a tunnel or something. We can go over there, I guess. There. Okay, so there's actually a different shrine here. Um, where is? Oh boy, backflip. Get out of here. Okay, it's straight this way. New shrine. Uh, let's forget about that weird tunnel, and instead try and find this. It's up. Wait, what is up? Heber Peak. Is it actually up? I'm I've know I've been really suspicious about caves, but it feels like the, the, a mountain this big would have a few cave systems in it, you know? Like it would be a dormant volcano or something and they do something with that. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. No, that's that's definitely it. Die ice. In fact, let's let's do this with style with our with our fire powers. Oh, look at that thing go. It, it says it's a Korok, but I don't believe it. It's, it's a, yeah, it's a shrine. See the shrine? I don't know where the Koroks is, but it, it has to be like a two for one deal. Please die. There. Goma Azabla's shrine. A major test of strength. Aw, oh, yeah, it's another one. It's my favorite. Let's do it up in this, this his house. I never promised I wouldn't say that again. Aw, oh, yeah. Test of strength. And I said it last episode, but I'll say it again. This build <laughs> gives a 1, a 1. 1.8 multiplier towards all my attacks. And potions give a 0. 0.5 multiplier. Or a 1.5 multiplier, meaning if I stack these, which I can, I do a lot of damage. 
this 72 power thing does a lot of damage. But I'm actually gonna see if I can use this thing up because this is a bad weapon. Ow! That's not very nice. It only did half of a heart, but it's not very nice. You, get over, get over here. Get over here. What are you doing? Yeah, you should regret your actions. Now you'll die for them. This is not dealing very much damage because the, this is not a good weapon. Oh, hello. This attack. I can look cool again. Yeah. Yeah. Booyah. Skirbaloosh. Yeah. Oh. Yes. 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 Oh, no. I looked so cool for so long, and then I have tumbled like an idiot, because only idiots tumble. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hit me. Yeah, that's how it feels to be bad. Come on. Come on. There it goes. And now I can hopefully break this weapon. In fact, take it. There. And now he will do this. Come here. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's doing this? Uh, why? He's at a quarter HP. He shouldn't do that attack. He should do the giant reflecty attack. Are you doing it now? What are you what are you doing? Okay, that was weird. He should not have done the attack that he did. As it stands, though, this is the attack that he should do, and I'm an idiot for standing this close. No! Stop! Fuck! But you know what? I'm gonna try it again. Come on. Come on. No! Ow! No! No! You know what? When first you don't succeed, try, try again. Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, that was so cool. I still got hurt. But that was sweet. It was like you stuck your finger. It was, it, you know, it, this is a good analogy. It was like in the cartoons when you stick your finger inside of, uh, like, in a gun. And then the gun blows up the owner. It's it's basically that, and it feels so good to do. Okay, drop this. Pick up the uh, the bad weapon, and this is a downgrade. Still, what is this sword? It's not good. There we go. I think this is. I think the yeah. I'd rather take the axe over the spear. Because the axe has a power of 60, which means that it, it's getting way more benefits than the other other thing is from my build. The mul it, there's more to multiply, basically. And this is a... Really? You give us a royal claymore in an area where you just gave us really good weapons. It's like, oh, c congratulations. Because you beat this giant cool thing, you get this really lame thing. That's terrible. That's really bad. Let's throw this away, pick up this, and then get our orb, and call it a day. And with that, it's actually not the end of the episode, because I would like to... I'm still cold. I would like to end off the episode by heading to that... That weird... Tunnel I saw. The... The... Let's see, where is it? Heading there, to the Kopiki Drifts? It might be closer... Hmm. I could head over to the Tabantha Snowfield and then horse my way over, but I think it would be much cooler to shield surf into it, which there's a giant slope this way, so it will probably actually be quicker. Oh yeah, this is, this is definitely going to be quicker. Yeah, catch some air, take advantage of things that we don't get any other area. Jump, fly on this, just make sure that's not a Korok seed. It is not. And then, thank you, Rivali. And then fall down there. What is this area? It looks like a weird maw, like the world is opening up. And that excites me, because I, I would love to see an underground snow area. This 
so far the the Heber Mountains has just been it's been kind of predictable it's been like the you know this is a snow area you will find snow here insert Skyrim when in my opinion it should be like I mean I compare everything to Xenoblade but it should be Xenoblade it should be like there are crystals here and when it's nighttime it lights up and it looks beautiful what is this what is this can't open it there's definitely something here this is weird I was not expecting a manor we can't blow it open certainly not yeah we can't blow it open we can't stasis it open what do we do here maybe we can enter in through the doors at the top because these look... I don't know, maybe these aren't destructible, but we, th I can see. No, those are not destructible. This is weird. Okay, maybe this was a great place to end the episode on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, do you see this? I can see the shrine through there. Do you see this channel? Uh, do they... Oh, they do. Oh, I think they do. Oh! <gasps> We need a snowball. Oh, that's that's going to be sweet. And you know what? I might just do a long episode just to get this shrine. We need a snowball here. We There they are. There they are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, we kind of have to we have to play around with which channel these go into. Let's let's just try this one. Okay, there it goes. It's getting bigger. It goes to the left. Oh, is this the right path? No, I don't think this is going to be the right path. Yeah, it's not the right path. Okay. Not the right path. So, we need to head... We need to do something. Get up, Link. Sometimes Link just kind of gets stuck on slopes, and it's very annoying. Okay, so let's try it there, because then we'll go into this path. I think that might work. Alternatively, we could just roll up the roll the thing up really huge pick it up and then set it closer when we know it's gonna go in but I, I like the idea of this better but we have okay we have our snowballs let's try the plan I just had which is place it in put it in there there it goes roll down it's getting bigger and it turns to the left oh this one might be it oh this is it this one is it go 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 yes no Okay, I'm gonna try it in this one. There it goes. It'll drop down. It's in the channel that we wanted. Keep going, keep going. Go on. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, I, it totally, I did it. I did it. It goes down, gets really huge, and it rolls straight into... Did it do it? Yes! That was sweet. That was really sweet. And it made sense, which is the best part. And let's blow those up. Did we get anything from them? No. But we did get a really cool end to an episode. And when I say end to an episode, I mean we're going to go inside of this shrine. And then I'm going to end up the end of the episode. Gee hurrah, shrine. Tandem. Gee hurrah! Shrine. Oh, okay. hey. Well, that's simple. Boosh. Okay, that's that's our concept. Now, how are they going to play around with this? They, they usually give us a very easy puzzle in the beginning, and then they up the difficulty. That's where we need to go. And... Oh. We need to shoot the... It's like cut the rope. It's exactly like cut the rope. The the app on the app store that is actually surprisingly enjoyable. It's a, a kind of a weird puzzle game. I, I usually don't like iOS games. And to be honest, it does get old. As does every iOS game. Because they're designed to be mini games. But it's, it's very similar in concept. <laughs> Unneeded rant about how much I dislike. This really is just cut the rope. How much I dislike 
iOS games because they're just mini games and people who say they play them and are gamers are not telling you the truth. I think we did it, right? It'll drop and we're done. Cool. I now <laughs> now I no longer have to see this concept again because just like cut the rope, there's only so much you can do with it. And that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. Otherwise, please tell me about that weird shrine that we saw in the very northwestern part of the map. Uh, I, as you know, I am out for 100%, so I will find that shrine. And by the next episode, if I don't have feedback telling me where it is, I'll have to look it up, which will make me very sad. So please, I know you guys are great in the comments and I would love to have uh, feedback so I don't have to look it up and kind of spoil it myself. All right. Next time we are going to get all that much closer to the end of the game. See you guys then. Yes! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Never have I been so glad. Also, that refreshed my stamina. Sweet. Never have I been so glad to get a Korok Seed before. Woo! That was tough. <laughs>